Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and amazing day just like me. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make an advanced kick GUI. Basically, um, so because of my last video, it would not work due to Roblox's update with local scripts. And local scripts can only work on clients, uh, which is basically the player that's running the local script. So like if they click a button, um, buttons use local scripts. So yeah, it, you get it. Um, so only run for the player that ran the local script. So, um, another thing, uh, he also wanted me to add in, basically, um, there's going to be error text to where if it couldn't find the player, um, then it, then it's going to show up the error text saying that it could not find the player, and it also want it to be, um, admin only. Uh, so like only admins can use it, which uh, I did forget to do, uh, but don't worry, I will go ahead and do that. Um, so another thing that I'm actually going to add is you cannot kick admins. Um, so yeah. Anyway, so um, let's go ahead and just get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and design my GUI. What you're going to need is you are going to need a text box. Um, this is what you at least need. Uh, you need a text box, uh, two text boxes actually, my bad, and then two text buttons, and then uh, a frame in order for like all of it to fit in. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do that. I'm gonna edit the part out of me designing, uh, but I want you to go ahead and pause the video and start designing your GUI. Oh, um, and before um, I mention, you will have to have a screen GUI. Um, when you add, it's going to look like this, screen GUI. And then you'll add in your frames, uh, your text buttons, your text labels, everything just like that. Um, so, yep, I'm going to go ahead and start designing mine. Okay, guys, so I'm done designing my GUI, and I know it's not the best, of course. Okay. Um, so yeah, I know it's not the best, of course, um, but, you know, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm more into scripting, not designing. <laughs> anyway, so, um, you have two text boxes, one for the name, one for the reason, there's gonna be one for a close button, there's also gonna be one for the kick button, in order to actually kick the player. So, um, in replicated storage, go ahead and add in a remote event, and then we're just gonna name this remote event kick. And then go ahead and add in uh, scripts in the server script service. And then I'm just going to name it kick handler. Oh, I, I put that inside the script. I didn't name it. Kick handler. There. So, um, first of all, let's go ahead and script the buttons on here. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and inside the screen UI, I'm just going to go ahead and add in a button in order to, um, uh, yeah, in order to, like, open, open it. So, I'm going to go ahead and just make that green. Um, yeah. Sorry, sorry, uh, you guys are, like, hearing, um, like, Discord stuff. I am in the Discord call, I'm just deafened. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and name this open kick panel, and I'll go ahead and make the text color white. Uh, make sure text scale is on, and then I'll put a text stroke. Alright. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, script these buttons. So first of all, we're gonna go ahead and script the open and close button. Uh, so with your open button, uh, just go ahead and insert a local script into it. And then we're going to do scripts dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect. Uh, did not mean to do that. A function. And then parentheses. And then. Uh, we'll just go ahead and enter, and then we're going to do scripts.parent 
dot visible equals false and then script dot parent dot parent dot frame dot visible equals true so then basically this makes the open um, button ma basically this makes the open button not visible and makes this visible and then uh, for the frame oh no the no not the kick button the close button we're gonna insert a local script in that and we're gonna then we're gonna do scripts dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function and then scripts dot parent dot parent dot visible equals not function false and then scripts dot parent dot parent dot parent dot I'm just gonna do text button because I never named my open button uh and then dot visible equals true so when we click the close button the frame is gonna is not gonna go visible and then the open button will become visible again so I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh position this in the middle as well so yeah now we got our open and close buttons working um, now let's go ahead and script our kick button make sure that um, for the name of the player you can't just name it name um, with a capital N and then AME is uh, lowercase because um, basically frame has another uh, property in it that is called name um, so like it's gonna think that you're trying to change the name and then um, when you do uh, it's gonna like give you an error in the output so anyway just go ahead and just name it player name that's what I did um, yeah so in the so we'll just go ahead and insert a local script into the kick button and then we're gonna do script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function alright and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do game dot replicated storage and then dot kick colon fire server and then now inside these parentheses are arguments um, which we will need and then we're gonna do sh inside we're gonna say scripts dot parent dot parent dot player name dot text uh, so it gets the text of what they put for the player name and then comma script dot parent dot parent dot reason dot text so um like it gets the text for the reason okay so um we are all done now what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert a script into server scripts oh wait no we already did that that's my bad it's called kick handler so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do game dot replicate storage dot oh uh yeah dot kick dot on server event um and because in the local script whenever you uh click the um uh the button it fires the server event so then um we're gonna do um whatever is inside this event uh, or like the function that we're fixing to put in there um, it's gonna run so we're gonna do colon connect function there so then now what we're gonna do is um, inside of these parentheses um, of the function we're gonna put um, player comma name comma reason so basically this player variable um, is the player that ran the event or basically kicked the kick button and then the name is whatever the text was in the name box um, of this the player name and then the reason is what they put for the text in the reason box so now what we're gonna do is we're we are going to do game dot players colon 
fine first child, and then um, we're gonna not put. And then we're gonna do name because we're gonna find the um, person that they put that they want to kick, and then we're gonna do colon kick, and then parentheses, and then what we're gonna do is because I put the player variable. Um, we're going to say that they were kicked by this player, so if you have a mod abuser that is abusing the um, the kick panel, they can report it and see who who has been kicking them. So all we're going to do is we're going to say, is we're going to put um, parenthesis, not parentheses, uh, quotation marks, and say, you have been kicked by space. And then um, outside of those quotation marks, we're going to do dot dot player dot name. And then dot dot, then more quotation marks. And then we're going to do space for, and then another space. And then outside of those quotation marks, we're going to do dot dot reason. So basically, um, yeah. So basically, it's going to say you have been kicked by, and then um, it's going to say the name of the player that they were kicked by, and then it's going to say for doing for doing uh, whatever they did. So anyway, um, that that is that. Let's go ahead and test this out. Um, oh, right. Uh, my bad. So first of all, I'm going to make the frame not visible. And then we're also, and then we're also going to um, add in the service script service a script, and we're just gonna we're just gonna call it admin console. And then inside the script, um, we're gonna okay. So drag the um, kick GUI that you made, and then hover it over the admin console script, and then let go your mouse. Um, so then now the screen GUI is inside of the scripts. So now what we're going to type inside of the script is we're going to do game dot players dot player added colon connect function and then PLR or player. You can do whatever. Um, and then we're going to do PLR or whatever you put inside these uh, function quotation marks. Um, wait, no, no, that's my bad. We're going to put if plr dot name. Oh, actually, no, let's do dot user ID. So if they change their name, it's still going to give them their admin console. Dot user ID equals equals. Now, you're just, now you're, their user ID is going to um, be number. So I'll actually go ahead and show you how to get their user ID. In order to do that, you just go ahead, go on to Roblox, and then um, I'm just going to click my name so then I can go to my profile page, or just search up their uh, name and then go to their profile page. And then you see these numbers right here. This is their user ID. So just go ahead and copy that. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and p paste in here. Now, um, if you're doing a really good game, you're probably going to have multiple... Um, administrators or mods yeah so um, basically if you want to give it to them do just type in or and then do plr dot u user ID equals equals and then type in their user ID and you can keep do it and you can keep doing that as much as you want um, until you have like all your admins uh, but I'm not gonna do that so um yeah, and then um, after you type in like uh, plr dot user id equals, and then we're just gonna put three zeros. Um, if you um, yeah, so um, if you don't want this, you can take it out. Um, but still, then after that, you're gonna put then, um, and then you can also take this out if you want. Uh, like if you're not. Um, having that. Then you're just going to do enter that this end should come up here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do script dot 
screen GUI or whatever you name your kick GUI and then colon clone now before this uh, I meant to put local local GUI equals and then script dot screen GUI or whatever you name your GUI and then colon clone now um, we're gonna do GUI dot parent equals um, not equals equals just equals PLR colon wait for child the reason why we're doing colon wait for child is so um, right when they load into the game the script may run immediately or it may not and sometimes um, if you're doing a really big game then there could be just a little bit of lag um, some may be visible and some may not and basically what colon wait for child does is it waits for the child um, like it waits for this to come up wherever <laughs> uh, yeah you get it uh, but if you just do uh, PLR dot player GUI then um, if it can't find it you're gonna get an error and it's not gonna keep running the script it was only gonna run it once so the GUI is not gonna pop up um, but if you do colon wait for child then it will always wait for the player GUI folder and then put the GUI in there so we're just gonna do PLR colon wait for child and then inside the parentheses we're gonna do quotation marks inside the quotation marks we're gonna do play or GUI. Okay, so um, we can now go ahead and go into this game to see if it works. Um, there, so you can see that the button is here um, because that was my user ID. So we're just going to open up Kick Panel. We'll do official DJ Skyward in order to kick me. And then you can also change text color. I meant to do that, but I forgot. And then we're just going to say. Um, this is a test. If you don't want to put a reason, um, the reason is completely optional. Uh, then we're just going to do kick. And then you can see that we've been kicked from the game. And then it says, you have been you have been kicked by official DJ Skyward, which is me, for this is a test. Um, so yeah, guys, that is how you create um, a kick GUI um, with Roblox's new update. And um, in order for admins to access it. I'll just go ahead and click uh, leave. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Um, I just realized that I was not able to get um, to error text, which, um, yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, but I at least um, got two of them. So yeah, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Um, I am actually making a game uh, with some of my friends, and we... And uh, the link for the group will be in the description below. Hopefully, it will be out soon. Um, you can go ahead and join that group, and we and you can also go ahead and join the Discord for the game down below as well. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys later. Peace.